St. Louis Congresswoman Cori Bush, along with other congressional leaders, are pushing for expansion of the U.S. Supreme Court. News 4 Shoshana Stahl breaks down what that means and the likelihood that it could happen. This unaccountable majority on the Supreme Court is issuing decisions that are harming people in my district in St. Louis and everywhere else in this country. Congresswoman Cori Bush and a group of other federal leaders are reintroducing the Judiciary Act, which is a bill that would add four seats to the Supreme Court, increasing the number of justices from nine to 13. She says the goal is not only to balance the court, but also balance all three branches of government. We're talking about an unelected court of judges stripping away rights and protections, fundamental rights and, uh, and protections from, uh, from people all across this country. SLU law professor Anders Walker says the change to the Supreme Court would have to be approved by Congress and President Biden, but he says it's stayed the same since the 18th century. It is very unlikely that Congress will approve this uh, partly because the House is Republican and a minority, even in the Senate, will filibuster. So it needs to have supermajority support plus the president. Walker says increasing the number of justices could be part of a plan to stack it with progressives and get a majority. Right now, six of the nine justices are conservative. It'll just set a precedent. Republicans could sweep the next election and then unstack the court. This happened after the Civil War. So it's probably not a great idea, even if you don't like the current makeup of the court. Congresswoman Bush says this change is a priority for her in Congress, especially because of gifts to justices and other things that she says haven't been disclosed. How does the highest court in the land break public trust? This is a, a court that we've seen is corrupt. But when it comes to court packing, Walker says that's usually unpopular. Most Americans revere the Supreme Court. Uh, they believe that it is an important institution, that it has legitimacy. And even if they don't like individual opinions, there's never been majority support for just stacking the court full of partisan hacks. Right now, the Supreme Court is considering cases on some pivotal issues like access to the abortion pill, gun legislation, and voting rights. In St. Louis, Shoshana Stahl, News 4.